morning children children i tap sir welcome you in the e class of dipal school baripada children today i am going to teach grammar to class 6 students this is the first class of this year for class 6 in grammar so today's lesson is lesson number 1 first let's see the book which book this year we are going to follow every day english grammar and composition is the book this year we are going to follow so the first lesson which i am going to teach you today the sentence lesson number 1 the sentence so let's see what is there in this lesson first of all we'll begin what is sentence is about what is a sentence a group of words that makes a complete sense is called a sentence a sentence always begins with capital letter and ends with full stop a sentence means a group of word when written in a systematic way in a systematic a proper way having a definite meaning to it even though the sentence is small but it has a perfect meaning to it then only we will consider that line to be a sentence a sentence always begins with capital letter and ends with full stop nature of the sentence is when we write a sentence it always begins with a capital letter and when we complete the sentence it ends with full stop some of the examples i will tell you here minu has three shirts you can see you are talking about a girl having three shirts minu has three shirts Rachna goes to school alone. Rachna generally goes to school alone. Where is Nagaland? You can see three sentences having a particular meaning to them. And all three sentences begins with capital letter. Minu M is capital. Rachna R is capital. Where W is capital. And all these sentences ends with punctuation mark. You can see punctuation mark full stop first sentence second sentence also ends with full stop and third sentence ends with question mark because that is a question sentence so punctuation mark that are used after a sentence are full stop question mark or exclamatory mark here i will further i will in the video i will discuss you about exclamatory mark remember this one is also a punctuation mark There are four types of sentences. They are declarative sentence, interrogative sentence, imperative sentence, exclamatory sentence. These are the four type of sentences. Now what is declarative sentence? Declarative sentence means statement. Simple line, simple sentence that do not ask any question. Neither it gives order, neither it request. Only simple sentence. It is called statement sentence. It always ends with full stop interrogative sentence that always ask question ends with question mark you can see question mark sign is there that's why it is called interrogative sentence is generally asks question imperative sentence means a sentence that gives command order or request they always ends with full stop sometimes it we generally use Sometimes we use exclamation mark also in imperative sentence. But usually it ends with full stop. Last one, exclamatory sentence. That means exclamation. We say our feelings. We, every person have their own feelings like pain, sorrow, happiness, anxiety, excitement, you know, any type of, after winning any trophy, we are very excited. After um, listening any bad news, we um, become very sad. These are all the human quality, we, uh, human uh, feelings. We generally, all of us have, uh, sometime or other we use these feelings. And these feelings are expressed through exclamation mark. That's why it is called exclamatory sentence. Exclamatory sentence shows strong feeling and ends with exclamation mark. They usually begins with the word that what or how. When it when we uh, begin a sentence with what and how and having an exclamation mark at the end, it is called exclamatory sentence. 
like some examples you can see what a fine necklace saroj has exclamation mark is there at the end means they are saying here there uh, there is no question to it just they are saying what a fine necklace saroj has it is not a question that's why it is having a exclamation mark because it is a exclamatory sentence how amazing the elora cave are here the beauty of elora cave it is said how amazing how beautiful what a genius ramanujan was means here quality of ramanujan is described genius it, he was a genius man or a genius boy how clever the king minister are here also uh, they are discussing about the quality of minister how clever the minister was or the ministers were here all the sentence we will see exclamation mark at the end of the sentence that shows that they are exclamatory sentence next is imperative sentence imperative sentence gives a command or an advice or make a request they often end with a full stop or sometimes an exclamation mark sentence express feelings they generally show our inner feelings through the sentence we can show how we feel with an exclamation mark when we use exclamatory sorry imperative sentence uh, where we gives order it is also a type of command when we request someone to do for us something it is also a imperative sentence in some examples give me the remote means i am giving you order please give me the sorry give me the remote it is a order stop telling it is also an order sorry stop talking it is also an order let's go home it's it's an advice uh, suggestion you can say let's go home buy seven boxes of chocolate and three bricks um, bricks of ice cream it is also you can say it is a command or order don't move it is also an order don't move stand in your position these are all sentence which uh, some way or others uh, gives command request or uh, sometimes we uh, give uh, uh, request to someone or give order to someone okay or sometimes we give advice to someone this comes under imperative sentence next one is interrogative sentence this is simple form of sentence where we can ask question ask a question and end with a question mark every sentence end with question mark is interrogative sentence when is the music festival starting you can see we are asking somebody is asking question when <coughs> excuse me <coughs> when is the music festival starting question mark how who left the fridge open here asking question who opened the fridge here also ends with question mark how many hundreds are there in 1000 here also ends with question mark here is he is asking or somebody is asking how many hundreds are there in a 1000 was kapil the captain of this their team so here somebody is asking kapil is, uh, was uh, captain of that team or not all this sentence you can see ends with question mark so they are interrogative sentence now comes the declarative sentence or statement sentence this always ends with full stop you can see amazon is a river amazon is a biggest river in the world here also it ends with full stop capital letter begins with capital letter a amazon is a river nikita ate three bananas in the morning here also it is in the sentence it is said that nikita ate three bananas in the morning our grandfather lives in mumbai sorry madurai madurai it is in tamil nadu so, so it is a sentence that shows that grandfather lives in madurai it ends with full stop charles dicken was a famous british novelist here uh, we are talking about charles dicken the famous writer of british who wrote many thousands novel so this sentence all sentence you can see ends with full stop so these are called declarative sentence or statement sentence so this lesson children i'm sure it gave you lot to know about sentence and types of sentence how we change is one sentence to another or what are the exclam uh, what are the punctuation mark we generally use after every sentence to show what types of sentence they are 
it is a beautiful lesson but it will be more beautiful if you watch again and again at home and try to understand it if you find any doubt while watching the video i am there to help you children anytime you can ring to me i am there to help you out to understand more uh, clearly till we meet again with another lesson in the next video god bless you stay blessed and bye bye